yes, I'd like to see him try. Oh, he's a lot stronger now that he's been exercising regularly. You see, he can't wait to trade you in on a woman with love in her eyes and fire in her loins. And honey, it ain't you. Hmm? Gentlemen. Oh, Rebecca can forget about redecorating this room because I am going to rearrange her face. Do not make her any angrier than she already is. If Mr. Crane throws you out, you will have no home. Let me see these paint chips. You know, I have always hated the color in here. It's so cold and uh, prudish. We need something with a little more oomph. Oh, in fact, I'm going to turn this room, no, this entire house into a temple of love. Oh my God, we have to hurry. Heck, if we can find us at any minute. Okay, you've been great, but you should go. I mean, I had no right dragging you into this. You didn't, Miguel. I wanted to help. And besides, if I leave now, I may never see you again, and I couldn't stand that. I'll be fine. Now, please, Kay, go. You told me once that if Charity hadn't come to Harmony, you and I would be together now. None of this would have happened but if stop I Stop hadn't... upsetting yourself. We'll always be together. I found it! I found the box! But the light inside this box will destroy Hecuba and any other witch in her lair. Once Hecuba's history, we can rescue Charity from the fires of hell. Kay and McGill found the box. They seem really happy. Not a box buried under the debris. No, it couldn't be. It is! It's the box with the golden light in it! I mean, this is all your fault for saving Kay and Miguel. It's obvious they plan to use the box's golden light to destroy Hecuba. Unfortunately, it will destroy us too. What do you mean, Debbie, going to? Ah, if I believed in prayers, now would definitely be a time to say one. But that is not an option for a witch like me, so. Unless someone comes to rescue us, we're doomed, Timmy. We're doomed. Do 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 do. How's this for regal? Timmy thinks Hecuba could teach Queen Elizabeth a thing or two. Why, thank you, Sir Tim Tim. Ah, I do believe that I'm ready for that special march, Timmy. You are going to make me. I want to celebrate Kay and Miguel's. Demise. <laughs> Julian, you have a file on my father. Now I want it, and I want it now. <clears throat> How would you know it was in here if you hadn't snuck in earlier? You broke the law, Luis. I'll have your badge for this. No, I don't give a damn about the legalities. Just give me the file. Why would Crane Industries have a file on Martin Fitzgerald locked in a vault full of important corporate and family papers? Your father's tenure as an employee was hardly worth a footnote in our empire, much less a file. Don't waste any time expecting his help. Just get the file. I told you, there is no file on Luis's padre. Now, what do you see about that? Julian, what'd you do with the file? Julian, I'm gonna mop the floor with your face if you don't give me that file. Luis, if you so much as lay a finger on me, I will sue you for every peso in the Lopez Fitzgerald family piggy bank. I will see that you are thrown off the force and straight into jail. But I'm sure you'll be most popular. Just, Luis, let it go. It isn't worth it. Julian means what he says. Thank you.
should. I am both stunned and appalled that you are party to this outrage. Father didn't raise you to associate with brutes like Luis Lopez Fitzgerald. Helping him plunder our family archives is unconscionable. Father will cut you out of the family and cut you off without a penny for this kind of treachery. You'll be persona non grata, just like Ethan. You know what? Father brought me up, what little I saw of him, to believe in the family, to trust and be proud of the family. So tell me, Julian, why should I trust and be proud of the Cranes when they obviously lie, cheat, and destroy other people's lives? I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm talking about what was done to Ethan and what you're trying to do to Luis by keeping the truth from him about his father's disappearance. You took that file, just like you tore the pages out of Mother's diary. Well, how would you know about any missing pages unless you spirited those diaries out of this vault? Oh, you mean the diaries that you denied were here in the first place? No, I merely said I wasn't sure where they were. Uh-huh. What are you and Father trying to hide, Julian? I want to know, and I want to know now! What's that sound? You know, I'm worried that Sheridan and Luis are taking a big chance by going back to the Crane Archives. Not especially Sheridan. I mean, she's going against her own family to help Luis. And that's how much she loves my brother. She would do anything for him. Just like I would for you. Yeah, you've, you've sacrificed a lot of your dreams for me, Teresa. Ethan, you are my dream. My dream come true. Now come on, let's look through the classifieds and find our first home. Um, actually, what about this one? It's an 18th century center hall colonial on 10 acres, a pool, five bedrooms, and there'll be plenty of room for our children. With a big house like that, and we could have at least four kids, two boys, two girls. But a big house like that will have to wait. Huh? Right now, we have to find a one-bedroom apartment in our price range. One bedroom. Yes, that's all we can afford. And we'll probably have to clip coupons to make ends meet. But just think, Ethan. It'll be our first home. Yours and mine, the start of a new life together. Nothing can keep us from being the two happiest people on this earth. No, no, none of these colors are appealing to me at all. Well, there's only one color left. Carnal Crimson. Oh, that sounds more like it. It's perfect. Oh, oh it's glamorous. It's, it, it's provocative. It's... Oh, it's sexy. Oh, poor Ivy. You haven't been sexy since you were involved with Sam Bennett. Oh, I mean the poor thing. She has just been pining away for years for a man who has just hated her with a passion. Oh, and you're, well, you've lost everything. You lost your lover, you lost your son, lost your husband. But me, oh, I'm about to have everything that I want. Oh, yes. Paint this room. 